This Torah class is brought to you by TorahAnytime.com. First of all, welcome everybody. And we're uh, finishing up Sefer Tarmit Vaira, Perak Yud, that we began sometime uh, after Pesach. And uh, Baruch Hashem, we've uh, at least read the words of most of the Sefer. And uh, the, there's a tradition that somebody who learns the Sefer is protect, protected Mikol Tsar Vetsuka. So HaKadosh Baruch Hu should grant all of us Shmira El Yaina. And uh, most importantly, um, the Shla writes in his Haskama that anyone who's ruggled on the Sefer to read it every week or every month is Muftach Shu Ben Oilam Haba. And he says it's a mitzvah even to buy the Sefer. So at least, at the very least, we, we have the Sefer, you know. But HaKadosh Baruch Hu give us Siat HaDashmaya to inculcate some of these Midois. The last chapter talks about being aware of, of the various times of the day and the Sefirah that's dominant at that particular time. And we'll read uh, the review in a momentarily. And this Eitzah uh, comes primarily from Parshas Bereshis, and the Talmud of our ends, V'hi Eitzah Koyleles, this is an all-inclusive advice, L'hiskasher Ha'adam Tamid, that a person should tie himself always, B'kedusha in holiness, V'lo Yachsar Itor HaShchina Me'al Roishai, and the crown of the Shechina should not be removed from upon his head. Because, uh, interesting, the, the Sefer begins... that uh, it's, it's worthwhile that a person should be comparable to his Creator, and then he'll be in the essence of the Tzura El Yoyna. And the Term of Devira makes reference to the Keser. He says, Keser is the highest of, uh, of the Midois, the 13 Midois, so Rachamim El Yoynois. So here he also ends off that if we incorporate these Midois, we will not be missing and lacking the crown of the Shechina from upon our heads, meaning, in fact, we will be Nizdame to the Kesar Ha'elyon. So let's uh, take a look at the review of chapter 10, courtesy of Reb Nassim Wadler. Thank you very much. Um, again, there are various times of the day that the different spheres are dominant. At night, the Midah is, that's dominant is Laila. Night, sleep is the 60th of death. And uh, the sphera corresponding to the, the night time is Malchus, which is the time of the moon, about which we say, Lesle mi gamra klum. Therefore, at that time, in order to, so to speak, counteract the Malchus of Misa, we're Mekabel o Malchus Shamayim. And during the day, the Kachidush is more prevalent. So one comes out of the death of night, you attach yourself to the life of Torah, to the Eitz HaChayim. Okay, so now, the, uh, that was the first segment. Now, how do we connect to the Avais and Tefillah? Because it's important, uh, based on the teaching of the Zayar, and somebody uh, brought, showed me from the, uh, the Yisoyed Bashar Shavoida that during the, um, dur- before every Tefillah, one should try to be Mekasha themselves through Machshava, Dibor Maisata to the Avais. So, how do we do that? We say, uh, first of all, through Machshava, one should have in mind, they're being Mekasha themselves to the Avais. Bedibor, you say the Pasuk. Vani b'roiv chastecha, that refers to Avraham. Eshtachaveh refers to Yitzchak. The term of said an interesting point, that when one bows to Midah, what does bowing have to do with Midah Sadin? Because the way to uh, gain Rachamim uh, in the face of Midas Adin is by bowing to Midas Adin, the Midas Adin back, backs off. And Birasecha is Yaakov, as the Yaakov is associated with Yira, he said, Manoira So, as, uh, we, as we said, these are the three bullet points over here Machshava, have it in mind, Dibor, you say the Pasuk, and Maisa, by bowing when you enter the Shul. Now, there are various other Zmanim of the day. The Tarmah Devar said a person's mouth is a wellspring flowing with prayer and uh, we con- he connected it to the Midah of Yisoyed. And it's interesting, we happened to say in the Chumash here last night that the Dar HaMabal was uh, corrupt in their Yisoyed, the Mila. 
and the Dar HaFlaga became corrupted in their Dibur, in their speech, and that's a connection between the... Actually, in, in Chazal, Chazal refers sometimes um, to the, the, the erva of a woman, is called Peha Tachta, and there's a, a, a connection between the Mila and the Kaya Chadibur. Okay, be it as it may, um, so there's a, there's a way to rectify Yisoid through Tefillah, Malchus is the well, Yisoid is the, the makar of the well. A shul is also called a be'er because that's where it gathers the shefa and it gathers klal Yisrael. But when one is mechavein by tefillah, it's, it's mesakin Yisoid. So then after davening, we, when we daven shachros, which is chesed, we learn, Torah is teferes, we quoted the Gemara, v'ha teferes zumatan Torah. And, okay, by the way, I just saw a very interesting thing. It, it, the Medrash talks about the Re'imim, these huge creatures. They couldn't really fit on the Teva, so they were in the water, but the water was too hot, so what did they do? They swam near the Teva, but, but still they couldn't breathe. So at least they put their nose in the Teva. So it's the same thing with a person uh, during the day. Reb Chaim Kreisworth compared it to a person during the day. We're in a Mabel, we live in a Mabel. We can't be in the base medrash all day, but at least the nose, at least your nose should be in the teva. At least your nose should be. So most of the day, during the day, we have to associate with teferes. Now teferes is an aliyah because Torah is greater than tefillah. Then mincha time is uh, midas hadin. So shachris is chesed, day is teferes, mincha is midas hadin. Then, as the term of the Torah concluded, a person should tie himself to the shechina during your meal. Now, most people like to tie themselves to their food during the meal. But, it's also important to focus on your food. If you don't focus on your food, then you might stick the fork into, you know, you want it to go into your mouth, not into somewhere else. But, besides focusing on your food, you should think that you're uh, tying yourself to the Shechina. And you should have in mind, you're doing chesed to your poor soul. Mazayin, zan is a mystical word, kale, and... Yud Kevavke. Then after Mincha, Teferes descends to Malchus, and then back to the night again where you're Mechabel the Omachos Shemayim. Tam Venishlam, Tam Venishlam, Shevach Lakel Yoidea Kolnelam, the Tarmid Devar says he finished this on a Wednesday, the 12th day of Cheshvan, in the year Yerav Olav Sichi Anoichi Esmach. Esmach is the year Shin Mem Tes, which is the year. 1589. 1588. While we're at it, let's see the publisher's closing words. He says, I give praise to the one who rides in the highest heaven, that he married me to begin and complete the Sefer. Although it might look small, it's a leading Sefer, paraphrasing the words of Shmuel to Shaul. Shmuel said to Shaul, Shaul, don't underestimate yourself. You think you're small, you're great. What is the function of Taim A person will understand that all of his actions, whether they're good, or whether they're not, they make a big effect upstairs. So that is uh, the most important limit of Taim Advar. Every minor act that we do makes a big Rash upstairs. As anyone who learned the Sefer will see. I heard from one who is beloved to me. I heard from Rev Gedalia, the son of the author. I didn't know the Rav Moshe Korver had a son Gedalia. Okay. Timer Devaira is one of the 70 date palms of a bigger corpus of material called Elima Rabasi. So whatever, however big you think this Sefer is, it's one seventieth of the total material. May it be God's will that they say about me, the publisher says, Moshe Basula, that Moshe merited, and he merited the, the Rabbim, Velasa Yisvarim Harbesh, Vizok, to make many from Amen, Vechein, Yehiratzain. 
So this, these are the words of Rabbi Moshe Basula, which by the way, in the beginning of the Hakdama, in the first printing, he brings that this, this Sefer again was found in the uh, archives of the Ramami Pano, and the Ramami Pano gave it to me, it was given to Moshe Basula to be Mazakes Harabim. And uh, we should be zoicha to inculcate some of these midas. Okay, so the plan for next week is to have some kind of uh, very general review. Okay, we're not going to get too detailed or too technical, but at least this way we'll try to remember some of the main points. And then, and then uh, we move on to the next sefer. The next sefer uh, might be a short one. We, we're going to try to attempt to do the Igeras Hagra. Okay, it's a short one, and then we'll uh, ponder what will be after. Um, if anybody's interested in sponsoring the next Limud, let us know. Okay, Rabbi Isai, have a great Shabbos, um, and Baruch HaVatzlacha. Mazel Tov, everyone. Yeah, thank you. Shkaya. We couldn't uh, rent out Madison Square Garden or the Giant Stadium because of the COVID, but hopefully the next time we'll... Okay. Okay. Thank you. You've just experienced another Torah class brought to you by TorahAnytime.com.